Well, I'm Kevin Cameron and I want to explore some of the changes that have taken place in uh, motorcycle steering over the past years. The obvious model for large motorcycles uh, when the Japanese majors began to build them around 1970 was British bikes and British bikes tended to have big wheels. When Honda built their uh, CB 900F uh, double overhead cam bike. Um, it seemed pretty sporty to those of us who were accustomed to a world of RD350s. But what was given to those bikes, those big motorcycles, the so-called sit-up super bikes, they were given large wheels as a first approximation. That seemed right. So here is the front wheel from that CBF, CB900F. This is a 19 inch wheel and the height of this thing from the top of the tire to the pavement is 27 inches. This wheel weighs 30 pounds as you see it here, brake discs plus axle. The discs are 11 inch. Look how tall the tire is. This tire may very well have an inner tube in it. Not very long after this, and as a result of superbike racing, wheels became smaller and lighter, while brake discs got bigger. This wheel, top to bottom, 22 inches, almost five inches smaller in diameter than the CB900 wheel. The brake discs are 11 and 3 quarters, so these brake discs are bigger. This is a tubeless tire. The changes that went on here are not surprising. In 1980 and 81, Honda decided to go to get back into racing and the CB900 was their superbike. And when they converted it into a superbike, they gave it a much smaller front wheel. All of the manufacturers who went in those early sit-up superbike races had problems with brakes. They had problems with handling. And what these were, were new evolutionary forces on the motorcycle. And they benefited all riders because the resistance of the front wheel to being steered is proportional to the square of the diameter of the wheel. The small uh, sport bike front wheel is much easier to steer at high speed when the wheel is functioning as a powerful gyroscope. Much easier to steer than the taller 900 wheel. I wish that I could have found this morning the photograph that I have of one of the uh, 900 base superbikes from 1982 because there it is with this tiny front wheel and uh, veteran mechanic Mike Velasco working on it in the Daytona garage. The manufacturers found out very quickly that there was going to be a big difference between a motorcycle that could win superbike races and a motorcycle that conformed to the sit-up visual standard of the late 1970s. So this evolution of motorcycles um, has some very clear bases and I was struck by this wheel size difference when my uh, middle son bought a, a CB900. So not too old to learn.